Right, morning all. Sorry about that bit at the beginning. Um, I'm going to take you through the booking tile on the Courier Exchange app, but I've had to use someone else's phone, to Dave, boyfriend Dave, um, to do it because every time I've tried to do it before, it's been too dark or I've rushed it. And what I've decided there, and every time I've been trying to get people to send me through dummy bookings, and they do, and the problem is by the time I come around to shooting the video, the dummy booking has disappeared. So, in my infinite wisdom, I thought, I know what I can do. I'll take a photo of every time I go to the next booking all the way along, and then I'll show you how it works on photos on my phone. But what I've done, I'll use this phone here, and I'm going to use this phone to video the, my phone to talk you through it. Got it? So this is the booking tile. This is, if you think of it, it's like the noughts and crosses board. This is the one bang in the middle. And this is the one that lets the customer know and lets the, the, the people that you're working for know where you are, what point you're at, what you're doing. And ultimately, it takes you towards creating the invoices, which is the bit that we need because that's the bit where we get paid. But I'm not going to rush through it. Invoices will do another day. This is all about the booking tile. Okay, right. So I'm just going to flick this down here. Right, this is my phone. Flick that on. There we go. Now, this is what you're looking at. Now, the booking tile is the one in the middle. So what you do is once you've gone on load alerts and you've phoned them and you've bid for a job, and I'll come on to that another day, and they've run you through, they'll send you through the job to bookings. And a little red dot will appear here, and it'll say you've got a booking. So you click on bookings, and this screen will appear. And that shows the booking. So let's say the booking that I just bought was the Milton, Milton Keynes to Shrewsbury, 115 miles. That's... Um, uh, that's in a Luton van. So you'd expect to get around about £130 for that job. So sometimes it says accept or deny in the bottom. You click accept and this will come up. So what you do then, um, you let them know you're on the way to pick up. So you click on the way to pick up and this screen will appear on my pick up. You see, and now once you get there, so you drive there, now whether that, you know, if you're 10 miles away, 15 miles away, however long it takes to get there, once you get on site, sorry, it's a bit jiggery this, click on site pick up. And then it will say, you know, please add your notes. You know, like where if the place is like difficult to find or something like that. There's no real reason. I've, I've never had to add any notes yet, and I've done all hundreds of jobs. So, so you click save. This screen will appear. So then you go in, talk to the people, work out what it is you've got to get on board, your pallets, your boxes, whatever it is. Once it's all on board and you're in the van ready to go, click on loaded. And this screen will appear. And it'll ask you, you know, number of items. Sometimes I write that down. If it's three pallets, I write three. If it's half a dozen boxes, I write half a dozen boxes. If they've loaded me up with a load of miscellaneous, that I had to do one on Friday with a load of telephone masks and cables, just click save. It's fine. So you click save at the bottom. And that will say that you're loaded and you're ready to go. And the next one is on-site delivery. So once you get to where you're going to, don't, don't, Click it when you think you're there, because many a time I've clicked it, I thought I was there and I'm not. So once you're actually definitely where you are, click on site delivery, and this will appear. And it's exactly the same as the um, the one before where you was on site to pick up. Sorry, this is very jittery. That's better. So once you're there, click on save, and that's going to come up. And then you basically go in, talk to the people, get it unloaded, get it sorted. Once it's all sorted, delivered POD. POD is the important bit. That's the bit we want to worry about. So once you clicked on that bit there, this screen will come up. Right. So what you do then is you got you should have, you should have a bit of paper. If you haven't got a bit of paper, that's your that's your proof of the, your proof of delivery sheet. Get a book. You can get them off Amazon. POD sheets. They are. They're like a carbon copy thing. Write where you come from, where you come from, where you're going to, because you need a signature, and you need a signature, a print, and a date. A lot of people won't pay you until they've got that. Some people will. So what you do, anyway, you click on signature, and when you click on signature, this will turn up. So you type in the name of the guy. Oh, there's the name of the guy. And then you click on signature, and this screen will appear. This one like this. And what you do then is you hand the phone over to them, and they'll do a finger squiggle. They'll do like this. And that'll come up on the screen. Click save. It won't work if they've got the fingernail. They've got to touch it with their finger. It won't work if they're wearing gloves. Click on save. And that will take you back to the POD screen, which is this one there. And scroll down like this. And at the bottom, it says scan document, take photo, or choose existing. You click on take photo. And then you get that paper POD. You know the one I told you about, the one that they should have given you. Or if they haven't, then you create your own. Click take photo. And you'll get like a photo of it like this. Click done, and then they'll have, that means they'll have a finger signature, an electronic finger signature, and they'll have a photograph of the paper POD. Now still keep that paper, paper POD, that's important, we'll come back to that another day. 
and then you scroll all the way to the bottom and at the bottom it says send POD. Send POD and it will take you to this screen. That means you've done it all. You've gone to the place, you've picked it, you've loaded it, you've delivered it, it's been delivered, it's been proof of delivery, you've got your electronic proof of delivery and you've got a picture of your paper proof of delivery. So now you can go to create invoice. You click on create invoice, it'll take you to this screen, which will tell you, yeah, there you go, there was the job, how much it comes to. Scroll to the bottom of create invoice, click save, click save there, and take you to this screen. And that means that's it, that, that now that invoice is saved, it's on your um, system, it's on the Courier Exchange system. Now the last thing you wanna do is click this email sign there and take you to this page. And you click on the email and it'll say the invoice has been emailed to the customer. And then that'll take you back to it and it'll show you the invoice, what you've done, and that is basically it. So that, that, that's, what you, that's what you need to do from beginning to end and that will basically, that will send, that will put the invoice on the system and it will electronically email the system to the customer. Um, and then the next thing you've got to do is you've got to do the paper invoicing. Now I, what I do is I work Monday to Friday and I've got a little folder and I collect them all in order. And then on Saturday, I do my paper invoicing. I'll take you through paper invoicing another day, but that is the middle tile of the... Um,